Okay, here I have two examples, example six and seven. We're going to find the sum of a geometric sequence. And there's a formula for that. It's on your formula sheet. S of n equals a times 1 minus r to the n power divided by 1 minus r, as long as r is not 0 or 1. So two types of problems. Find the sum of the first n terms of the sequence, 1 half to the n. So this one, we're not going to get an answer like 2. We're going to get a formula because it's n terms. We don't know how many terms that is. So that means that S sub n is going to be A, which is the first term. So if I plug 1 in here, 1 half to the first power is 1 half. So A is 1 half. My common ratio is also going to be 1 half, because it's going to be 1 half times 1 half times 1 half each time. So this is going to be 1 minus 1 half to the n power over 1 minus 1 half. Now, if I do a little algebra here, that's 1 half on the bottom. So this is 1 half times 1 minus 1 half to the n power over 1 half. And then this 1 half and that one cancel each other out. So this becomes 1 minus 1 half to the n power. And that's my answer. So I'll get different answers depending on what n is. So if I wanted the sum of the first 20, just put 20 in here, put 20 in there, it tells me the answer. If I want the first 100, I put 100 in there and it tells me the answer. Okay, on this one, it's a geometric sequence because if I take a third of a third, I get a ninth. I take a third of a ninth, I get a 27th, and so on. So it's common ratio of one third. Now this one has an end. I'm only going to the first 15 terms. So um, on this one, um, I'm actually going to get an answer. Okay, so I want the 15th term, S sub 15. It's going to be the first term, which is one third times 1 minus, we said the common ratio is 1 third to the 15th power, all over 1 minus 1 third. Okay, so 1 minus a third, that's 2 thirds. So this is 1 third times 1 minus a third to the 15th power divided by 2 thirds. Okay. So if I take this and I invert and multiply it, because that's what we do with, when we divide by fractions, I get uh, 1 third times 3 halves. 3's cancel out and I get 1 half. So this equals 1 half times 1 minus 1 third to the 15th power. And that I can plug into my calculator and I'm going to get approximately 0.499999. Nine six five two. Now you might be able to guess here if I take this instead go fifth, uh, going to the fifteenth term. If I keep going, what is that going to approach? This is approaching 0.5. So this has a limit, uh, and the limit's going to be 0.5. It's going to get as close as I want to 0.5, but it's never quite going to get there. <laughs>